call for an uprising was deleted about a week, I believe, or a week and a half before Thanksgiving, somewhere around Thanksgiving, I'm not sure the exact date. I wanted to give an update on that and let people know I have tried appealing this almost every day since it's happened, every couple days, I should say. And they continue, continue to reject the appeal. Here's, you can see from these emails, just a few of them, where they say that they've reevaluated my channel and they agree it still should be gone and, and not brought back. So that being said, you know, I don't understand how a lot of these channels get, get them deleted and then they get their channels back. But I'm going to change to the name of this channel. I'm going to take the two off now because this is pretty much officially my main channel. Because it doesn't look like that one's going to come back. And even if it does, there were so many restrictions. Because I think what happened early on, they put some type of restrictions in before they, uh, you know, went forward and continued to, you know, change their algorithm and all that stuff where that channel was really blocked. I'm seeing the same amount of views. And the fact that I went from 250,000 subscribers to 80,000 is fine by me. This isn't about ego. It's not about pride. I don't need to prove to other channels or anyone out there that, Oh, you know, I had the, I'm this guy and I got the most subs and I could care less really. What it comes down to at the end of the day is quality content, continuing to produce content. And that's what my focus is on is producing as much content as I can, relevant content, trying to, uh, you know, help wake up people who are still sound asleep using whatever method it is. If it's something simple like a music video or if we're going deeper down the rabbit hole and talking about SRA, satanic ritual abuse, uh, talking about stories that have been covered up in the media, all that type of stuff. So. That's where my focus is. So I'm going to take the two out of this one because this is now my main channel. The one with 250,000 subscribers. Rest in peace. It's not a big deal. The thing that matters most really to me is the fact that I lost so much of my content. Uh, well over a thousand videos at some point on there. I did delete some because I was afraid that they would delete my channel because I did have some videos that I thought they might consider controversial. Uh, so if you're somebody out there who has mirrored a lot of my videos, please message me. Uh, on YouTube and let me know because there's some videos that I can't find. I have some archived on the hard drive, but I can't find at least 500, 600 of them are lost. And I'm talking about relevant ones, not ones that might be about a news story from a specific day about what's going on in politics or a false flag event or something like that because those don't really have any relevancy now. But videos that, well, you know, symbols and signs that help people up, wake people up. If you know any channels that have mirrored these and downloaded them, please message me and let me know. That being said as well, the main channel, I can't access it. I haven't been able to access it. So if you're a channel I subscribe to, I don't know who I was subscribed to now. I can't really remember. I was subscribed to a lot of people, and I would try to support smaller channels and talk to them and tell them, hey, you know, be encouraging because I was a small channel and blew up, and, you know, now I'm back to being a pretty middle-of-the-pack channel, but that's fine by me. But uh, I don't want those channels to think that I just kind of ditched them. I don't know what channels they are or who they are because I've lost everything. I haven't been able to get inside of it. Once they deleted my account, I have no access to the interface there. So uh, the same goes with emails and, and anything like that trying to contact me. I still can get into my Gmail, obviously, which you can see here. But I haven't been in it because I haven't been in this channel. So there's a lot of emails I haven't responded to people, and I apologize for that. But this main email here, call for an uprising at Gmail, it's it's – gone for the most part i'm not using it okay i had issues with it uh, about two or three months ago where i believe a certain organization somehow hacked in and got uh got into my uh gmail account i have proof of that and evidence and, and uh, i did contact youtube i also contacted law enforcement as well uh, because there was some information in there that uh, you know was kind of stuff you want private like your address and your social security and stuff like that but uh, this account, the main account has been pretty much hijacked. So now that being said, with this channel taking the two away, I just want this video out there so people know that if you email me at a call for an uprising at gmail.com, you're probably not going to get a response because I'm not going to be in there. And like I said, the email was, uh, you know, the Gmail was compromised at one point. So I'm probably just going to delete it. If you want to contact me, the best way to do it is through just messaging me on YouTube. I do not have Facebook. I do not have Twitter. I do not have social media. Okay? Another thing to keep your eye on is that there's a ton of imposters out there. And listen, trolls, this kind of stuff doesn't bother me. Somebody wants to be a troll, be a troll. You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really affect me. Can some things trigger me sometimes? Yeah, I'm human, you know. But uh, there's channels out there that have stolen my logo. Obviously, there are channels out there that just talk about my channel because they want to get views. 
And instead of just going, you know, I don't like this guy, I'm going to turn it off. They watch every video and dissect my every word. But everybody's got those type of issues on YouTube because it's really kind of a sick community out there, really. People who claim to be truthers who are just oblivious and clueless. But there are troll accounts where people, pretty much they could just, you can make one up and you can put the name of the channel if you want to and put the logo. And they go around trolling people. This one specifically uploads videos. I don't know. You know, you can make your guesses as to who this guy's connected to. It's pretty obvious. But just be wary, you know, of stuff like that. It's pretty rare that I'm going to comment. Uh, have I commented before and told people off? Absolutely. I'm not going to lie. If somebody writes something really rude to me, you can just click on it, though, and you'll see that it's linked to my channel. And it's me, and you'll see the other one has, like, two subscribers, no subscribers. So you'll know that it's actually not me. But the focus everybody should have is not on... Uh, me and oh and my subs and stuff like that it should be on the content okay that stuff is all egotistical stuff it's stuff that I'm not concerned about I know where my channel was I knew how fast it grew and the fact that you know with 80,000 subscribers I still get 20 to 30,000 views a video it shows me that I have real subscribers here real good subscribers you know you get one third one fourth of your viewers to watch every video that says that you're doing good work because in reality, people think that they're going to get, if they have 150,000, 250,000 subscribers, that they're going to get 250,000 views on every video. That's not how it works. Okay, people don't want to watch every single thing you do. And to be quite honest, my first channel, it probably blew up the way it did because a lot of my videos early on went viral. The ones that were about Beyonce and, and you know, the entertainer, you know, certain songs that were out there. They, a few of them got, you know, a million, two million views. So a lot of people would subscribe who saw those videos, but they would never become loyal subscribers to the channel or watch any of the videos. They just subscribe and probably forgot about it or never came into YouTube or none of the titles or topics that I talked about interest them. So the people who really enjoy my channel are here now. So that's that's why I'm not concerned about losing the other channel and losing that many subscribers because I think the people who watched it on a daily basis, because I do put up daily content for the most part, occasionally I'll take a day or two to myself, but you people are still here, so I appreciate that. I'm grateful that you came and found the, the backup channel. I do have the third channel, or now my new backup channel, which is The Fire Rises. Okay? And I might rename that to Call for an Uprising 2 at some point. I don't know. But that channel is there. Here's another thing, too, I want to show you. I've had a strike on this channel for bullying. Yes. Wow, what a surprise, right? Everything I say seems to be bullying because the tone of my voice and arguing against people's opinions is just not allowed. But I had a strike for bullying. So I wasn't allowed to live stream. That's really what happens. After you get one strike, usually you're not allowed to live stream. That went away today. So I assumed I'd be able to live stream on the channel. But it looks like they put a permanent ban on me live streaming on this channel. Even though I think, I don't think I've ever done an actual live stream from a call for an uprising too. Maybe I did one or two in the past. I've done some on Fire Rises. I've done some on my old channel. But I said this before, this is for people out there who have channels to understand. These types of channels, our types of channels, they do not want you to be able to live stream, so they will likely strike a video for no reason at all just to prevent you from being able to live stream. The reason for that is that it's extremely dangerous for them to have people like us live streaming because their computer algorithms cannot prevent against what is said and the topics that are being discussed unless you tag it in the title of the video and you say specifically you're going to talk about you know this agenda or that agenda or an event that happened they'll make sure their algorithm's looking for it and shutting it down or if a troll is sitting in there which happens in every live show anyway and you might say something or slip of the tongue with a curse word or something that might sound anti-semitic or something like that and they will flag and pause the video and flag it at a specific spot and they might be able to take your video down in live time which has happened i've seen it happen to many channels but for the most part they don't want any of us live streaming so this channel, again, it's prevented from live streaming. So if I do live stream in the future, it will be on the Fire Rises unless this uh, goes away. I don't know why it would be disabled. But I just wanted to clear the air and let people know. I'm sure most of you saw the video that I did uh, where I destroyed my YouTube plaque. Uh, I'm sure YouTube didn't like that as well, but tough. Tough cookies. And, you know, this channel is close to getting 100,000, so I'm happy about that. God is continuing to bless me. Um, I'm just really glad that, you know, I'm able to communicate with all of you out there who listen to this channel. It's actually kind of funny because you think most of the truth or channels would get along with each other and work together. I've never seen such a group of babies, you know, as the people who, who are bigger channels or, you know, prominent channels that you probably all know who have egos, who won't talk to each other, who turn their backs. It's so, it's like high school. Really, it is. My focus.
this is on you guys, the listener. You know, and that's why I want to do more live shows so that we can communicate more uh, and I can answer questions. And it's just nice to have people who have common, you know, thought process who are critically thinking. And this channel is strictly for for you guys and for us to communicate with each other because I read the comments, I read what people say. I can't get back to everybody. And I get so many comments, it is hard to. I mean, when you make multiple videos a day, it's one thing. If I made it once a month, you know, I'd probably be able to get back to everybody. But I do read the comments. I do appreciate the support. And uh, it's great because I consider you guys friends. You know, I'm not somebody above you. It doesn't mean I'm more knowledgeable than people who listen. I have people message and say, well, I've been awake for 20 years. And can't you go into this topic? This is my challenge. I run it the way I want. I run it how I think is best to help wake people up. I have a, a good ability of communicating and being, being able to slap sense into people who are sound asleep. I've always been able to do that through most things in life, even if, if it wasn't something with somebody, you know, talking about the Illuminati being awake, even if it was like you go back to high school and somebody who, you know, was in a bad relationship or something like that and they needed the sense slapped into them. You know, I have that kind of ability, so I try to focus on things that I think are going to help the common person off the street wake up. Does that mean that I'm not going to go deeper and deeper in this? Of course not. But I just do what I feel drawn to do. Uh, and, you know, I think for the most part, it's helped out a lot of people. So let me just recap all this. Of the first channel, I, I would have to say it's officially dead and it's not coming back. So I've lost those videos. If you have any of them, please let me know. Inbox me on the channel. That's the best way to reach me. Do not fall for troll accounts and troll channels. Unless you want to fall for them, then have fun. But realize if you want to communicate with me, that's how you're going to be able to do it. I don't have Twitter. I don't have Facebook. I've never had this stuff, and I'm not going to get those things. I like to just focus on my work. Uh, if you want to share links and stuff, that's the best way as well, is to just inbox me on the channel. I'm removing the two because the other channel is officially gone, so there's no reason to call this two anymore. This is now just the main channel. And from here, we're going to continue to work our tails off, continue to produce content. And by we, I mean me and everyone out there listening. Because you guys help provide me with content. We're all doing this together. We're working with each other. You share the videos, right? You can send stuff to me, point stuff out to me that I might need correction on or might be wrong about. Or teach me things that I don't know about the New World Order, about certain agendas. Because there's so much stuff or shows that you've seen that I've never seen that have this in it that you might find important for me to show, or a Netflix show, or a show on TV. So, this is all of us working together. That's really what it's about. This is a community. It's proven to be one. You know, for the fact that that channel got eliminated, there's a lot of people who had, you know, 20,000, 10,000, 50,000 subscribers who had their channels deleted. You look at them, and they got 50 subscribers, 100 subscribers, 1,000, from, down from 50,000. It shows you that, you know, when people point the finger at me and go, oh, he bought all these subscribers, and... Oh, it's fake the whole time because no channel can grow that fast. You see, these other guys who get deleted, and nobody ever comes back. Nobody's ever looking for them. So you wonder where their subscribers are, where their loyal listeners are. Because they probably didn't exist in the first place. But it's been proven to me that, hey, listen, if, if one third of the people who follow the first channel were real listeners and people who cared, and you're all here now, that's all that matters. I don't need people to just subscribe to be subscribed and then to watch videos that, uh, you know, one out of 50 that might help them out. People who are here every day, you guys, I care about you. I thank you for all the support. And um, again, you know, going forward, I'm just going to continue to to put out as much content as I can, quality content. You know, sometimes it might not be the best quality. I try, uh, you know, to uh, teach as much as I can. I also sometimes I rant. So you know, when you mix those in, sometimes I guess it could be annoying. I don't know. I get sick of hearing this out of my voice. I'm sure a lot of you do too, but. I just want to thank everybody again for all the support and uh, let you know that that channel is going to rest in peace, it appears. But this will now be a call for an uprising regular. There won't be a two there, so don't be uh, afraid that somebody else uploading my videos or something like that. And if you want to get in touch with me, just message me on the channel page and the email and all the things associated with the first channel. It's been compromised was compromised at least and it's not something that i'm going to be using anymore uh so just wanted everybody to know that and again thank you all out there for the support and let's hope we get to 100,000 subscribers not for the number sake of saying i have 100,000 subscribers so they can get one of those wonderful plaques in the mail because i've got good plans for my next plaque 
Yeah, good plans for that one. I'll tell you that much. Thanks again, everybody. God bless all of you and your families.